Karthikeyan. I'm an engineering director in channels in Tesco Technology Bangalore. I manage the teams which deal with stores and transactional APIs. We have been on a cultural and technology transformation for the last five to six years. The first and foremost is what do we do for our business, right? We used to buy our software for the most parts. Let's say 90% of the software was bought and less than 10% was built in-house. But now we have gone to the other extreme. We built 90% of our software or more and less than 10% of the software which is not strategic to our business or to our customers, we tend to buy. Now, you can't build such software without having the right technology folks and having the right culture. And that's where we have increased the number of senior engineers, software development managers, product managers, program managers, and so on. And they have added a lot of value by helping Tesco build our own software. Now, you can't have the people but lack the culture. So as part of the culture, we have also become more agile as a company. Previously, we used to release our software once in two or three months, and we used to call it a day but now we release our software far more often. Most of the teams release at least once a sprint, which is two weeks, and there are a good majority of teams which release multiple times every week. And our vision is to release software multiple times every day on an on-demand basis. First and foremost, 50% of their abodes of the technology population is in Bengaluru. What that means is you have a healthy amount of peers to fall back on in case you have a cushion or you want a sounding board or you want to discuss and innovate. So it makes collaboration very easy. It makes innovation very easy. And last but most important, because you have a healthy enough population, hiring also is very easy. And onboarding people, wrapping them and bringing them up to speed is good. And the bar keeps going up because there is a healthy threshold of people and we challenge each other. We learn from each other. We have historically used a vendor-based proprietary software for our tills. We call them tills, but it's it's a point of sale machine. Yeah, That's what the customers and colleagues use to perform their shopping in the stores. We have 7,000 stores and 70,000 tills worldwide across our group countries. Now, in the last three years, we have started moving to running our own software on the tills. It's not just a monolithic till anymore. It's an edge retail platform where all the applications that power the power the journeys and features in the online website, the same applications run on the till as well. This way, we ensure that a particular team owns those features both in online and also in the store. And we get to reuse the same code base and reduce the effort. Uh, first and foremost, the retail lab in Bengaluru is one of the largest retail labs for Tesco. Yeah. Uh, we have a few dozen stores, one for each of our group countries and for different store formats like Express, Convenience, uh, Supers and extra uh, you know, store formats. Uh, thanks to the amount of equipment and the stores we have, if I am an engineer in one of the teams and I am trying to develop an application or a product owner is trying to test and validate my hypothesis, I can develop, I can test. I can course correct and I can do this cycle in a more agile and fast iterative fashion which means I can add value to the business at a faster pace and I can access the devices offline remotely as well. I don't have to necessarily come into the lab. I can remotely access the devices. I can see what's displayed on the screen. I can control the applications running as well. This is what we do as of now. Our vision is to structure this even better. A lot of the stores are not used that often. So we tend to have lower utilization. So we are trying to use the stores in the countries where we are doing the most development. One, two, some of the peripherals like the credit card machine, they can't be tested remotely. So we are working on robotic arms and other automation tools to automate such testing. This will help us to test remotely without people having to come into the lab in case, you know, there is another wave of the pandemic, right? That creates a big problem. So thanks to the lab and the folks in the lab, we. We were able to develop and test and release even during the pandemic. Very few people came into the lab, but they ensured that they were the they were the folks who handled the physical testing and physical activities that enabled dozens of engineers to develop and release software remotely. Uh, 
uh, as part of a cultural transformation, agility is key, isn't it? And uh, DevOps research and analysis talks about four key metrics. One is lead time to change. From the time an application's development and port changes are done to the time it goes to production, how long does it take? Second one is how often you deploy your changes to production and let customers use it. Third one is in case of mistakes, how much time does it take to roll back the change to the previous stable version? The, the last one is what is the percentage of changes which actually end up in a failure? Now, among these metrics, we are improving all of them. Really, allied teams release multiple times a day. And I would say a healthy 20% of the teams release multiple times a day. And most of the teams, I would say 70 or 80% of the teams release at least once a week, which puts them at a high performing category. And this is a huge improvement compared to our uh, release cycles three or four years ago, where we used to release once in a month, once in two months. On the tills, we used to release once in three months, in fact. Yeah. So, so compare three months with multiple times a day or multiple times a week, that's a huge improvement. And this is a journey for us, right? We want to get all of our teams and all of our applications to a space where they can release multiple times a day without interrupting our customers. Tesco has a great opportunity for anyone joining yeah, and, and existing colleagues as well. One, you will learn cutting edge open source technologies. We don't use any custom tools. What that means is you will learn tools like Spring Boot, Micronaut, Couchbase, etc. And these skills are fungible, right? So that actually helps you to learn skills which are transferable. Second, there are great opportunities on how to build applications which have to cater to large scale of customers here. Yeah. So on a given day, we have millions of transactions throughout our group entries, and that actually means your application has to handle every one of those customers and their uh, uh, shopping journeys. Yeah. The third one is retail, right? A lot of IT is or historically has been focused on e-commerce, but retail and store and edge is radically different in its own ways. Yeah. And in Tesco, you will have a large opportunity to learn that because we own 7,000 stores and uh, you know we run 70,000 point of sale devices worldwide and another 70,000 scanner shop handsets. So you will learn what are the nuances, why it's different, how the application should be built differently, etc. Uh, Tesco technology has brought a big change, right? Uh, Technology used to be a cost center, but now we are not a cost center anymore. Technology ideas and technology features have added value like Club Card, you know, Club Card Plus, and a lot more ideas that have been going into production. And we have a lot of backlog of a roadmap of items that we are working on. So technology is its own uh, center in, in its own ways, right? And we impact and we touch millions of customers every day. Second one, the large scale of problems, yeah. You learn how to deal with large scale of customers and their shopping behavior and how to enable them to uh, successfully shop and have a nice experience. The third one, the skills, right? You have a great population of technology folks in Bengaluru. You will learn from them and you will keep learning and you'll challenge each other. So you have a thriving ecosystem of people and when you bring really high skilled people together, a lot of good innovation happens.